Hey there, bigger pockets. It's Matt. So today we're going to talk about apartment buildings and how to assemble investors that want to get into this apartment building with you. And just let's talk about the three things I think you need to know when you're seeking investors for this apartment building. So um, let's say that you've found a deal and you're going to go out and pitch some investors to come on board with you and provide some of that uh, needed cash to buy the building, whether or not you've got money in yourself. Um, you're going to need perhaps some investors to come and buy along with you to buy that building. So here are the, this people tend to jump right into the numbers and talk about uh, the cash on cash return and the cap rate and the internal rate of return and stuff like that. But I think a lot of that's more secondary. I think that these three questions are ones that an investor, the investors that I deal with, are, these are the first three questions that they tend to ask. And maybe they're not what you expect, but let's hop in here. So the first question is it's real simple and it's it, you it's it's beyond money and everything like that and the simple question is can I trust you right um, and that's not me trust you that's can your investor trust you so um, if you're just getting started uh, your odds are you, you shouldn't be trying to find just investors online or through some sort of a you know investor marketplace or investors club or something like that if those even exist or um, through uh, crowdfunding that's a big portal you can go to right now because something you have to have if you're just getting started is a track record to present to things like that to present to an investors club or to present to um, a, uh, a crowdfunding portal or whatever that, that you are a good what's called sponsor for a deal sponsor is someone that people invest with so if you're presenting yourself as a viable sponsor you got to have a good track record so that when we got started and if I suggest you guys consider doing this is look in your own personal network for people that already like and trust you people that already trust you for other reasons because they know who you are and um, they know you're a swell person and you're not going to go running off with their money and everything like that because the biggest question that they're just the first thing they might not ask you out, out loud but they're going to ask you indirectly is can I trust you with my money um, and so get people that already trust you uh, it, and to speak to them about investing in apartment buildings and um, perhaps make a list of all the, the people that you know um, that you think might have the capacity to invest in apartment buildings alongside you. Make a handwritten list. Um, they say most people have 150 people in their close-knit network. Uh, so write down the ones that of your 150 do you think might have the capacity to invest in a deal with you. So that's number one. Can I trust you? And make sure that you've got a list of people that, um, that can trust you. And if you've got um, a track record for deals, and you're ready to go and present yourself on larger portals and things like that. You can consider crowdfunding um, or you can consider people that are already in your um, real estate network of people that um, that have either already done private loans with you. Um, that, that was one of our first people that converted into an apartment building was somebody who had already done a private loan and we had shown that we had that track record. So um, some level of trust needs to be there um, either through an enormous track record or through um, personal level of trust and that's number one number two um, how are you gonna protect my money how's my money gonna get um, you know secured and so through a loan it's real easy to answer you're gonna have a mortgage mr. investor you're going to um, have collateral on the property that if I don't pay your loan you can come back in and take that property uh, through, through through a foreclosure proceeding or through if it's illegal in the state you're investing through something called a deed in lieu of foreclosure which they can just snap in and take it real fast um, but just the question is like, how's my money protected? Is my money safe? Right? It's, it's a, it's a good question to answer. And so for an apartment building, they're probably not going to get a mortgage position on the building with collateral. They're going to get ownership of the property. So you get, you got to bring them in as a partner, as an owner. And what we do is a, uh, we use a limited partnership where you, the sponsor, become the general partner and they become the limited partner where they're limited to losing just their investment. They, don't, they typically don't have voting rights or anything like that, but they have ownership of the company that owns the apartment building. So um, you, you give them equity and that ownership of the company that owns the building is what protects their money. It's what's, it's what's their collateral. They kind of own a business. Um, uh, own, a, own a, a company alongside you, right? Um, and so the operating agreement that structures that company is what gives them uh, their collateral, it's what protects their money, it's, it's, what, it's how their money is, is secured in a way um, in the investment. So um, that's, that's how you want to answer that question is like, yeah, although I can't give you a mortgage, I can give you ownership of the company and that's how your money is protected. Um, and that, so that's just, that's the second question is, is, is my money safe? 
right? So the last question is, and people want to answer this question first, but this is the last question. Um, that people want to spit on is like, hey, how much money are you going to make and everything like that? Uh, what returns? So that's it's what what what's the structure of the deal? Meaning, um, what kind of returns am I going to make? How quickly am I going to get my money back? Those kinds of things. Um, that you want to answer through uh, the structure of the deal and what the terms of the deal are. And so, first and foremost of that question is how quickly they're going to get their money back. So. Um, answer that in the is this a three-year investment is it a one-year investment is it a five-year investment is it a seven-year investment know that before you sit down with these folks um and then in, as part of that conversation as well you can talk to them about what their projected um you know what you think their return on investment is going to be you can't guarantee anything because it's not a flat rate payment it's something that you you think we're going to make around this the building's going to go up in value we're going to um perhaps refinance it in a couple of years and i'll be able to get you some if not all your money back uh through that refinance so the deal structure you want to lay out and show them all these things um but more just importantly how much money am i going to make and um how am i going to get it back is kind of all woven into that last question so here are the questions make sure you answer these uh with these folks when you sit down with them that's number one can i trust you um number two uh how are you going to protect my money and number three how am I going to get it back and how quick, how much money am I going to make when you have it? So uh, this sounds super simple, but I promise you um, investors are not going to immediately want to come in and start talking about internal rate of return and, um, you know, job growth and things like that out of the first question. They want to answer the other questions first, and then they'll want to dig their hands in alongside you and, and perhaps even help you vet out the deal and contribute some of their resources on top of their money to, to help you be successful. So um that's a that that's the three things you really need to know when you're seeking a, an apartment building investor guys i uh, that's i've i've done well in answering those questions first with the folks that have invested with us and i hope that you guys are able to solicit some investors for yourselves through those questions so um if you uh have any questions or comments leave them below i'd love to get some you know a little chatter going and conversation here on bigger pockets with you guys about uh apartment building investing and raising investors and everything like that um, as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and have a great and profitable week.